Hello, hello, my name is Blossoms and welcome to another Genshin Impact video. And today we've got more of like a uh, discussion type video. I wanted to talk about the benefits of being a low spender in Genshin Impact. Now, a little forewarning before I get on my whole little tirade here, I have spent some money on the game. I have dropped on numerous of the crystal top ups here, but I am a content creator and I obviously try to stay a little bit of the head of the curve. And to do that, you kind of got to spend some money and that's okay with me. I really love the game and I can justify spending that money because, you know, I really sat down and I thought about it when I spent that money. And that is very important to note. I do want to preface that. Um, before you spend any money in this game, make sure you have it, make sure it isn't gonna affect your real personal life. Because at the end of the day, this is a video game and it's supposed to be something that you enjoy and maybe relax with, not something that adversely affects your real life. Anyway, with those little four words put in the beginning, I wanna talk about being a light spender. And what I mean by that is buying the Woken Moon Pass as well as something like the Battle Pass. Now, a lot of you do know these are the most worth it purchases in the game, and but maybe some of you are a little bit on the fence of jumping the boat from free to play to these little low spending things. And I'm here to tell you these are certainly worth it. And the major reason these are worth it is one, the Woken Pass here, we'll go on this first. The Woken Pass here is essentially going to more than double the amount of Primo gems you get because you're going to be getting 90 daily Primo gems as well as 300 Genesis crystals. Now this 90 Primo gems is more than you usually earn in a day as doing your dailies gives you 60 in total and maybe you get a couple of achievements here and there that give you plus 10 or you find a chest or two which you know can obviously vary but most of the time on your dailies you're going to be earning less than 90 Primo gems Therefore, the Woken Moon here is already doubling the amount of gems you are earning, and this is the cheapest thing on the shop. Plus, you get these 300 Genesis Crystals, which you could convert into Wishes, or you could stock them up a little bit, and you could buy something that's in the gift shop, like these little boosters here for, like, weapon mats or these books. Um, I wouldn't recommend these two, I don't think they're too worth it, but sometimes we get these little ones on sale that are pretty worth it. I have contemplated buying both of these, but I opted to not this time around. Now, the Woken Moon is definitely the most recommended thing here by them. It's the cheapest, it gets you the most primos overall. Yeah, definitely the Woken Moon here is probably the most worth it. Most banners only last for about 21 days or three weeks. And the Woken Moon here is going, you're going to use most of it through that uh, course of the banner. And that's going to allow you to go ahead and get the four stars you want and maybe even the five star you want. And if you're wise, you can go ahead and save them or spend them. And that's going to be generating pity for you on other banners. And you're going to have a little bit more freedom in choosing which five stars you want just because you're earning that much more primos. Otherwise, five stars are going to be extremely far between. And that's okay. I mean, if you're free to play, you're free to play. That's a-okay. I'm not here to harp on you, but if you really are winning those five stars, one of the biggest things you can do for yourself is just buy the uh, Welkin Moon here, as that is definitely probably the most worth the thing in the shop. Now, maybe you don't really care about the wishes, but resin's a problem for you. If that's it, then definitely be going for the battle pass. The battle pass here saves you resin. It saves you so much resin. It's actually insane. Um, the battle pass is pretty much the reason I um, very rarely need to actually farm ley lines or things like Mora or the weapon experience because by, by the time you start getting towards the end of it, you see you're getting 16 purple books here. You're getting over 200k Mora per and that's going to allow you to basically circumvent the entirety of ley lines to go ahead and just, you know, receive all the benefits from this. And not only that, you're also getting weapon mats, so you're saving yourself on resources. That's less time you're going to need to spend farming on those mats. And then it just starts to scale. You even get talent books from this. You get a couple free wishes. And at the very end, you get 680 primos. And then on top of that, without that, are without the weapon here the battle pass is still worth it but the fact that they actually give you a weapon is also insane literally every single one of these weapons is good every single one of the battle pass weapons is good some are a bit better than others but all of them are definitely good 
and can save you a lot on things like crit rate. They all have crit rate substats, which is extremely valuable because getting crit rate substats or crit rate main stats on your artifacts can be very difficult in the game, and that's inadvertently saving you some time in your domains. Not to mention that their passives here are actually quite strong as well, and I use these regularly on many of my characters. This time around, I'm going for the Solar Pearl, and then after that, I'll be going for the Deathmatch, as I already have the Viridescent Hunt and the Black Sword, and they are more than worth it, I can guarantee you that and the Solar Pearl here is also going to be worth it. The main part about the Battle Pass is how much resin it actually saves you, and the fact that it gives you some talent books, it also gives you some furry wishes, and the amount of Mora you get, you're just not going to have to waste your resin on things like the Ley Lines or things like the um, XP books, and you're gonna be able to spend more time getting artifacts because getting artifacts with good substats and good main stats is very difficult in this game. I spend most of my resin daily. We actually just did a stream today where we did artifacts and I spent probably 180 resin. I had some fragile resin I was using and we only got like one or two decent artifacts, not even like really good artifacts, just decent artifacts. And that's just kind of show you how difficult it can be to get some good artifacts. It could take you an entire week just to farm one good artifact from a set. And having the battle pass here is definitely going to allow you to be able to farm those sets more often rather than spending them on things like ley lines. Now combined, I want to talk about some of the wishes and whatnot you get from this. You don't get enough to get pity. Actually, in two full Woken Moon periods and a Battle Pass period, because the Battle Pass period is longer than the Woken Moon period, it's about like 40-something days, while the Woken Moon is a flat 30, the Woken Moon gives you a total of 2,700, and then the Battle Pass gives you the 680, and 2,700 times 2 is... 5400 plus the 680 means you're going to be getting around 6000 primo gems and that's if you're spending you know two welcome moons and a battle pass which is going to put you around 38 wishes and that's that's really good it's not pity right but that's going to be getting you way more than you would normally and then if you think about the fact that um, there's like the soft pity at 75, so you're more likely to get those units. And the fact that if you're actually grinding daily, then you're going to be getting those 60 primo gems every day. Then that's going to add to your wishes as well, probably putting you in the 40s or 50s on each limited banner or every other limited banner, excuse me. Um, and then that way you're going to be able to dictate which five stars you probably want a little bit more and even then you're still left to the gotcha gods of the 50 percent of the limited character or a, another five star character and that's where this really all falls off i think it comes down to is the gotcha rates are just crazy in this game they can be very difficult to get a five star and you know that is definitely very difficult and annoying whenever you're trying to get a certain character maybe you absolutely love a character but you're not going to get them unless you're dropping like a hundred bucks on the game and that is just not feasible for people so if you actually sit down you buy the welcome moon you buy the battle pass and you are conservative with your wishes and you use them wisely and you save up for the characters you want then you're going to be able to get the characters you want and that is very important because without things like the Woken Moon or the Battle Pass, you're going to have a much more difficult time getting the actual five stars you want. And one thing I do like to uh, kind of say for these types of games is actually to keep in mind that um, to give yourself a limit. If you are a little scared that you might spend too much on the game overall, maybe you're like, I don't want to spend 15 bucks every month on a game. I didn't sign up for an MMO or anything like that. And I just don't want to spend that money. That's all right. I have a particular rule for gotcha games that I set for myself. I have broken it on this one because as I said, I am a content creator here and I am planning to do content on this game for a long time as I absolutely love it. But for other gotcha games in the past, I've given myself the limit of $60. And then I use that $60, which is money I would spend for a full game. And then once I use that, I am done spending. And then if they put out an update that I feel is worth an expansion level update, 
then I'll drop another $15. And that's kind of how I actually manage myself in terms of money for this game, or not this game in particular, but for gotcha games or games that want you to pay money, etc. as they are a live service game. And, you know, that's just kind of my thoughts on the Woken Moon and the Battle Pass. I think they're both extremely valuable, and if you're free to play and thinking about crossing that bridge, just try it. It's only 15 bucks, and if that's hurting you that much, then you shouldn't be spending it anyway. So just try it out, see how you like the benefits, and compare it to your free to play experience, and then go from there. But as I said, I think they are extremely worth it, and that if you are considering being a low spender in the game, to buy those things for sure, as they are the most worth it. The crystal top ups are not very worth it. I wouldn't really go for those. I would definitely say just go for the Woken Pass or the Woken Moon Pass and the Battle Pass, as those are going to give you the most benefit. I know I kind of rambled on in this one. I just kind of wanted to give my thoughts about the Woken Moon and the Battle Pass, but I did want to keep this video relatively short as well. I just kind of wanted to tell people the benefits of the Woken Moon and the Battle Pass as they are just so worth it in terms of the sheer amount of resin you save and the mm, amount of wishes you get with them. I think they're just that good and I wanted to tell that to people who were thinking about spending money on maybe a crystal top up when you could be saving money by just being patient and buying something like the Woken Moon Pass or the Battle Pass. But obviously, as I said, if spending on if spending anything like five or ten bucks on the game is going to be hurting you terribly then don't spend that money at all as i said games are supposed to be something that you enjoy and something that you know you kind of relax from so don't stress out your real life just for farming the waifus and husbandos but anyway that's pretty much it for the video i hope you guys enjoyed leave a like below and comment below your thoughts on the woken moon and the battle pass i would love to hear your different thoughts and theories of how maybe they want to improve that kind of system in the future and yeah that's kind of it anyway my name is blossoms and i hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day peace